everyone, and welcome to Setting Things Down Explained Part 5. Today we're going to go over the new live stream called Not Me. The live stream aired on January 23rd, but was soon taken down by someone named Victor Entertainment Incorporated. A quick Google search shows that this is some Japanese music company. And they're actually the people who made the song from Blue and Doll. A couple of people tried re-uploading the same live stream to their channels, but it got taken down by the same company. However, there is one version of the live stream that is up on Google Photos, which we can watch. It starts off with the same still image of his bedroom, with setting things down at the top. Slowly, the title at the top begins to get more distorted and disfigured. More letters start replacing the words in the title, such as FFFFFF. The Fs keep growing until they've basically blinked out the entire title. The image of his bedroom is gone, replaced with a black screen with the same FFF set on it. Eventually, random letters start appearing, starting with D, then L, then K, then P, U, M, R, E, E, X, 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 C, B, N. And then the N starts growing until it basically envelops the entire screen. Then we see memories fade, but who will This seems to be part of the lyrics from the song in Blue and Dull. Perhaps that's why Victor Entertainment copyrighted it. Then it ends with the setting things down logo in the middle of the screen. It's hard to tell whether he was trying to give us a message or not, but now we're going to have to decode those letters that we found during the live stream. Altogether, it makes this. When decoded, it's just a 25 uh, list of just random combinations that don't really make much sense. We'll leave that theory there for now. Next is the live stream Ask Me Questions. This live stream is a very special one. He answers random questions like what's your favorite food and what's your favorite YouTube channel. He answers PewDiePie and eggs for those. But at one point, he asks, What is this? and then sends a link to Tolip IGN's Imgur. If you don't know who this is, it's basically an Imgur user who started posting mysterious photos that had to do with STD's content. The first is this one, with a taped clock on the wall that we saw earlier in the channel, and a secret message that's in Caesar cipher format. It reads, He told you there would be severe consequences. It's interesting to note that this was made about the same time that SCG sent me that mysterious message telling me to stop stop making research videos. This may be tied in somewhere with Tolip. The second one says E88, 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 E88. You can research all you want, but nothing will cure him. This may have to do with STD's sickness and the pills that he has to take to keep it away. The next photo is You Found Me. Congratulations. Happy hunting, Tolip. This was released the same time people on the forums started talking about him, meaning that he is active on the forums and knows when we're talking about him. This creepy photo came out the same time the video called IJN came out, and then Take Them Back, which was the live stream that was posted after that. The final photo on his account is, If you had a good life, it's a good lie. This seems like some kind of quote or a message to us, I don't know. There's still one question though, who is this guy? We might never find out. It could be STD, it could be someone he knows, or it could be someone he doesn't even know at all. Hopefully sometime I can find out what this means. If you do know, then put in the comments or on the forums. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next Explain video. See you later.